Hey guys, this is Luke here from We Are Change. Yesterday I had a very good day, April 15, 2010, and I just wanted to share it with everybody here on YouTube. Now, me and my girlfriend six months ago reserved tickets for the Stephen Colbert show, and we finally got our tickets yesterday. We go to the show, and before every show, Stephen does a little question and answer with the audience. So even before I, before even I was in my seat, I had my hand up and I was ready to go. And I did talk to Steven. And I asked him a very important question about the Bilderberg Group. I asked him, Steven, are you aware of secret secretive elite meetings that take place with the most influential and powerful people in banking, media, corporations, and government each year that decide public policy called the Bilderberg Group? And he kind of got a little shocked by that question, but he said, yeah, yeah, I know about it. And then he started talking about Sonia Sonia Manure. So he was talking about the Bohemian Grove. And I interrupted him. I was like, no, that's the Bohemian Grove. The Bilderberg Group is actually more secretive. And that I'm actually a journalist that covers the Bilderberg Group and gets death threats because of it. And uh, we had a whole dialogue, and we do get death threats for covering the Bilderberg Group. I did, Alex Jones does, and other uh, journalists who aren't afraid to cover the group do get uh, death threats and uh, do get harassed for covering this secretive elite group that the mainstream media won't touch. But, uh, had this whole dialogue, they wouldn't let us film, so my girlfriend grabbed the camera clandestinely in between our talk, and you can actually see it right now. Remember when Sonia Sotomayor, uh, the wise Latina herself, um, Bohemian Grove. complained that she wasn't allowed to be in uh, two years, uh, last year? Yeah. That's the Bohemian Bilderberg. Grove. Are you a member? Can you get me in? I'm actually a journalist. I get death threats for covering it. You get so, death threats? Yes. Do you have letters or anything? The mainstream media. Do you have letters? Like, I have phone calls. You have phone calls? Yeah. You have tapes? You have your recordings of these I phone record calls? some of them, yes. You record, what do they say? What we do you think they're going to say? secret organization. <laughs> and we will remain secret by killing a journalist. <laughs> Why would they kill a journalist? That would, that would explain We actually them. confront Bilderberg members like Bill Clinton, the IMF head, the World Bank head. We actually confront them on video cameras. And we tell them, what do you do at these meetings? And they run away. Like, we mm -hmm. have everything on video. And it's, it's the world's naked, elite. That's why. <laughs> if I was a billionaire in one of these meetings, I'd just be naked all the time. <laughs> they worship a big stone owl. Or that's something, the Bohemian don't they? Grove. The, Bil the Bilderberg Group is different than the Bohemian Grove. The Bilderberg Group is more secret. It's not a little vacation. Okay. It's the one for. Throw on the right side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tranquilize him and get him out the back door. Have the electrodes waiting. Now, we weren't allowed to film, so I'm sorry for the video quality but we have to clandestinely film in the middle of our conversation. But, you know, after the conversation I had with Steven, he goes and sits down and he does his new segment. And in the middle of his new segment, he just goes off and says, Marty, thank you for joining us. I just want to thank you for the welcome you just gave me. And I just want to say that anybody out there watching, that if you're in the secret Bilderberg group... <laughs> assassinate freelance reporters. It's just not nice, guys. It's not nice. And please, call me. Call me. You owe me one, buddy. Okay. Now, now they gotta go through me. I was extremely excited to see Steven actually mention it on his news program, and I really want to thank him because that reached out to millions and millions of people who never heard about the Bilderberg Group on live on his show. And I want to thank him for his courage for actually bringing that issue up to everybody. I want to thank him for the little wristband that he also gave me. And this is a huge victory for the info war because many people who never heard of these secret elite meetings will be like, what was Steven talking about? And we'll Google him. Now, he says, I do own one. And now, I would like everybody who is a part of the info war, who is a part of We Are Change, to go out there and say thank you to Steven for supporting and talking about the Bilderberg Group. Uh, you can leave comments in the specific video that he talked about it, send him letters, send him emails, and definitely support him because this could be a huge ally uh, in our info war that is not afraid to bring up these issues. Visible Empire also came on and I have to give credit to Alex and Burmis for creating a great film that exposes the history of the New World Order and documents their crimes throughout the years. Now this actually sets out a great 
uh, foundation for our documentary to come in, which we've been working on for the past two years, actually confronting all the individuals mentioned in Burmese's film, all the Bilderberg members, Council on Foreign Relations members, Trilateral Commission members, us chasing them down the streets, asking them questions, demanding answers about what they do when they rule in secret. So this film will be coming out soon. We're working hard on it. Special thanks to uh, Burmese for educating everybody but now we're going to show everybody what we can do with that education. Same day, the Southern Poverty Law Center names me with 36 other individuals on their Patriots Most Wanted list. Now this is just a desperate attempt to attack all uh, peaceful and rational dissent in this country and categorize it with extremism. What's really interesting is that I actually was interviewed for this specific report for two hours by the Southern Poverty Law Center where I talked about uh, we are changed principles of Gandhi and Martin Luther King's non-violent, peaceful, resistant methods and how we're all about keeping the peace and keeping the love with everybody and working together with the police and military in creating a real change in this country that will benefit all the people and not just some of the people. And in that specific report, they didn't mention any of the community service work that I told them about that We Are Change does here in New York City and they took a quote where I said that there will be an uprising out of context in that same quote in that same YouTube video I said that We Are Change is here to lead the way in a peaceful transition that will work with the police that will work with the military in order to create change for and by the people so they could take all the quotes out of context they could not talk about our community service work they could actually try to smear us but the truth will come out and the people know what We Are Change is really about out there. I'm going to thank everybody for supporting We Are Change. We're here. We're not going away. We are patriots. We are fearless. We are change. You know, th there is such a thing as insidious influence. Does it involve bribery? And does it involve some sort of psychological domination of individuals? But what does the New World Order mean for countries like ours? A New World Order. No world order that elevates one nation or group of people over another will succeed. It's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a New World Order. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. The whole concept of New World Order is something else. It really says that the state is God. You take the roots of that organization and you find out that they created in all of the British dependencies uh, what they call round table groups. Then around those little round table groups they created front groups. We're getting to two levels of government here. One level of government where we have checks and balances and a higher level of COG government where the constitutional authorities are not allowed to go. Back then, it wasn't politically wise to be aligned with what his party's right wing considered a shadow world government. The New World Order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. This is the third leg of the New World Order. That's why it's important. The people running this country are determined to destroy it.